But when I look around And Think things over now Outweigh my bad days. I, I won't complain. I've had some good days. I had some years.
another boat experience for us as we are taking the fleet of ships, the eight of them, that we okay, John? No, you're fine. That sailed the church. And yes, yes. And in these eight ships that sail the church, in this morning's text in Matthew, we look at another experience as we travel the seas of life. The 22nd verse, and, and, and that's where I want you to start with me at, it says, and straightway Jesus constrained his disciples to get in the ship and to go before him unto the other side while he sent the multitude away. And when he had sent the multitude away, he went up into the mountain apart to pray. And when the evening was come, he, he, he was there alone. Now stay with me now on the 24th verse. But the ship was now in the midst of the sea, tossed with waves, for the wind was contrary. And in the fourth watch of the night, that's about four o'clock in the morning. Right. Jesus came unto them walking on water. And when the disciples saw him walking on water, they, they were troubled, saying, It's a ghost. That yeah, sign is over there, y'all. It, it, it's, 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 it's a ghost. And they cried with fear. Now they're on the boat. Twelve disciples, and they're hearing a voice outside of the boat, and they are talking to that voice, and they're saying it's a ghost. 27 verse, so, but straightway Jesus spake, be of good cheer, it is I, be not afraid. Now you got two dialogues going on here. Twelve guys on a boat. Jesus on the water walking, and they are making a synopsis of who he is. All right. Stay with me right there. All right. Then Peter answered and said, Lord, if it be thou, bid me to come unto thee on the water. And he said, Come. And when Peter was come unto the ship, he walked on water. Says it in the text, y'all. Didn't say ski. He walked on water to go to Jesus. But when he saw the wind boisterous and he was afraid and began to sink and he cried saying, Lord, save me. And immediately Jesus stretched forth his hand and caught him and said unto him, O thou of little faith, wherefore did thou doubt? And when they were come unto the ship, the wind ceased. I want to talk about the ministry of the unusual. Look at somebody and tell them the ministry. Ministry of the unusual. The ministry. Amen. Thank you to both of these music mechanics who are sharing with us today. Brother Brown, thank you so much, Reverend Collins. The ministry of the unusual. If you haven't figured out yet, you, you, you ought to understand that we serve an unusual God. We, 
we 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 serve an, an unusual God and 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 every one of us are ministers. Some of you all are saying right now, no, 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 Reverend, I, 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 you a preacher. That's what you do, Tommy. You are a preacher. Uh, 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 you are a preacher. No, I'm not. Yes, you are. You are a preacher. Every one of you, man, woman, boy, or girl, you have a ministry. And a ministry is simply a job done with a spiritual passion. Mm. Yeah, in, 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 anytime you come to church, all, all right. you want to do is just usher. I mean, and, and you literally say, that's my job to usher. Until ushering becomes a ministry to you, you will never take the level of passion that goes beyond a paycheck. And so, so I, 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 I would like every one of us are missed. Watch, I'm, 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 I'm trying to prove it to you right now. Some of you all have.